Hello, and welcome to another installment of Mobile Sec Mondays. In this video, we're going to solve Lesson 7 from the IG Learner Series. Sorry, I have been away for so long. I've had some exciting events happen in my life since the last video. Check out my Twitter and Instagram at TheFluffy007 to get caught up on those events. Also, I rec recently celebrated a birthday, so I was busy with that. And I that's what kept me away. But I can't stay away from mobile for too long, hence this video. So we're looking at my intro to Android security virtual machine, just to give a bit of background. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, this is a virtual machine I created that has the common hacking tools for Android. It was inspired by Android Tamer, which is another virtual machine that had common Android hacking tools as well. So we're looking at this virtual machine I am already connected to my emulator here and I also have the lesson pulled up my Android x86 emulator if you need instructions on how to do that I have another video that goes step by step on how to connect for, um, the two virtual machines the intro to Android security and in this case my Android x86 emulator I'm not going to talk about that in this video because as I said, I did another video that goes in depth, step by step, that um, to explain all of that. And I think that video is no more than about five to 10 minutes. Now, let's get back to why we're here and that's to solve lesson seven. Now that I have the IG Learner app pulled up, and it's on lesson seven let's look at the instructions it says in this lesson our application has spinned up a data provider but in an insecure fashion your goal is to find the password stored within the database you'll know when you when you found it hint we really like mercury so how can we do this so one of the first things we do whenever we have mobile apps is to reverse engineer and reverse engineer them and in android land one way to do that is to use jadex you can do this with the command line or gui or the graphical user interface i like using the gui option because i like to click and point so that tool is in this virtual machine inside the intro to Android security version 2.2.0. So if we go to menu, reverse engineering, and JADX GUI, and all of the insecure apps are stored inside the documents directory in this virtual machine. So we're going to double click on IG Learner. And now we are looking at the source code. We see packages, Android support, com, intrib, you, uh, group dot learner. So if we expand that, we see a lesson seven activity and an activity in Android land represents a screen. So for an app, you can have multiple activities. As you can see here, we have a lesson one, lesson two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, activity represents a single page inside of an Android app. So we're gonna go to the lesson seven activity and now we're looking at the source code and this source code is written in Java, which most Android apps are written in. So if we look here on lines 27 through 29, we see values in lesson seven database table, John Doe, a password and a description. And it says you found the password and John Doe's description, but you found the password 
and we have this generate challenge okay so we see the generate challenge is a bunch um, it creates a random string because we're using the secure random which is the way to do randomness is securely and we're using the alphabet um, alphanumeric and we're creating a random string pretty much so that's going to be helpful but not now so if we continue if we go back to where we was on lines 27 through 29 and if we continue going we see we have this user's uri and if it's null well we see here it says get the content resolver user is not null and then we see insert content provider content uri values so let's see what this uri is okay pressing control left click we see here the uri that's being parsed is this content com interpreted interpreters group learner content provider ig learner db so here's our database so this is the url to our database now we have this but how can we extract what's in the database well there is a command adb or android debug bridge and it has a shell and inside of that there are extra commands that we can use and one of them is to query a content provider so in this case the content provider is a database so we want to query a database because we want to get the password we want to get the values from the database so how would we do that well let's open a command prompt and then we're going to type adb shell content query because we're going to query the content provider uri and then the uri we're going to provide is this your uri we found here so we're going to copy everything within the quotes we're going to copy and we're going to paste and pressing enter we see what do we know row zero id 16 user john doe password you found the password and then ss 746 sd 01 f john doe's description and that matches because it corresponds to the values we have in lines 27 through 29 the column of john doe of you found the password and this generate challenge goes to the finding a random string and then john doe's description so if we type okay so in this lesson we're not going to type anything so we just needed to find it and we found it using the adb shell content query and we specified the uri so as i said the adb is the android debug bridge and a shell um is a shell that's part of the Andro android debug bridge and then within that you there are many things you can do within um the adb shell so for instance we queried a content provider or a database but you can use it to view logs right if you wanted to look for a specific um name or a specific item in a log you can use the adb shell for that
so this lesson was not too long and it just showed how we can query a content provider using ADB shell if we have the URI to the database of said content provider and we had that so we were able to query the database and we found the password here and this was the password you found the password and it was a random string of SS746SD01F so I can't wait to see you in the next video have a good day bye